Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the Grit Culture. And everybody that's new, please like, share, subscribe. If you like the content at the, by the end of the video, leave your comments. Uh, leave your suggestions. Help me build. Help build upon my thoughts. I'm not an expert on anything. I just have commentary and my own my own opinions, opinions and facts about different things. So we're about building. I also want to say thank you to the people that are helping grow this channel. I know it's very minute, very small compared to the big dogs, or even people doing moderately well on YouTube, you know, but I'm up to 21 subscribers now. <laughs> as small as it may seem, it's very greatly appreciated. And uh, and any progress is good progress. Any progress is positive. So I'm definitely loving and I appreciate y'all. Uh, but what I want to talk about is uh, a conversation that popped up on social media. And, you know, you get a lot of these all the time, these different back and forths about relationship roles and what a man's supposed to do and what a woman's supposed to do. And this popped up about whether taking out the trash is a man's job. So let's get into it. We just want to put our thinking caps on. And the question I want to pose today is where do we what are the what is the practicality? If you don't know what that means, look it up. What's the practicality of every action that we take? especially as genders and gender roles and just things we do every day. What's the practicality in it? What's the history of it? Where does it stem from? And so things like taking out the trash, you know, we're so accustomed to believe, you know, men take out the trash. Uh, women usually do the cooking and cleaning. Um, Man, hold the door open for the woman. You know, different things like that. Being chivalrous. Uh, see, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times have changed, but, you know, you still, you know, men are supposed to pay all the bills. Women take care of the home. You, know, you saw that viral video where the man said his wife hasn't paid a bill. In over 20 years, he pays every single bill. Now, unfortunately, and it has nothing to do, you know, he operates his home the way he wants to operate it. But unfortunately, he was just, that guy was recently on that Ileana Fix My Life show. Things weren't as peachy as they seem to be on the outside, on the outside looking in. But... Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So where do these different concepts come from? You got to think about the practical nature. I, I've always been a believer of there's no wrong or right way to run your relationship. You do what works for you. You have different agreements. And I believe that should be the basis. And I believe different guidelines should be set on whatever roles that y'all want to take in your relationship and what you respect uh what you expect out of one one another man and woman and y'all should have those guidelines and each side should honor those uh honor those guidelines basically like a contract i mean everything is per pretty much contractual even marriage is contractual uh when you think about it because in all actuality, you don't need a piece of paper to decide if you're married. That's something you, at the end of the day, all you got is your balls and your word. And you're gonna, are you going to remain loyal to a person and hold them down for life or you're not? You know, piece of paper, all that does is just hold you contractually. So when you want to take it to the courts, that's all that's for. Take it to the courts. It's just like 
when you agree to something in business terms, agreeing to your salary, agreeing to something on the job. But, but it all comes down to your word. And so many married people, so many people today, they think things change when they, when that piece of paper, you know, when they get that marriage license or they go down the, go down the aisle and say, I do. Those are just little ceremonies and, you know, they're cute and all and fun. But at the end of the day, all you got is your word. Just like Scarface say, all I got in this world is my balls and my word. And I'll break them for nobody. <laughs> so, you do what you want. You do what you need to do. But you understand that men and women have different biologies. Biological aspects. Sorry if my English or my words are making sense. But they have different biological aspects. Men tend to be stronger than women, just naturally. That doesn't say that a woman can't be stronger than a particular man, but just naturally. Biologically, men are stronger than women. Women get pregnant for nine months. A man can't. So that puts that usually uh, hinders a woman. Hinders a woman where she's in a position to where she won't be able to work. What you see, but what you see a lot of days of women are working. Working, still doing a lot of stuff and, you know, going through the different things at the job, which brings a lot of stress and in turn puts stress on the baby which opens the door for possibility of health health defects. You know, you never know what, what could lead to these things, but, you know, it shows that stress does lead to certain defects, certain problems within a child, even eating habits, eating habits and different things like that. And you know, when you're stressed, that affects your health, your personal health, your eating habits, what you consume, and that's going to go to the baby. So, with that being said, you know, as a man, you have to do some planning around that. You know that you have to work, you have to have money saved, you know, money saved up, just in case, you know, if y'all are going in on uh, bills or anything going half and half, you should be in the position to wear you can pay everything yourself. And so should the woman. So should the woman. The woman should be in a position to where she could pay every single bill by herself. Because we'll get to the trash and everything shortly. Because you don't know. You don't know the hearts of many people. Humans are still human beings. You can love a person. You can, you know, anything. You know, it, it could be anything, but you never know. Humans have changes of heart. And you don't want to be in a situation to where you're left assed out or you're trying to hold the relationship because you don't know what you're going to do next. You should always be in a position to where you can hold things down and be on your feet by yourself. That's just, you know, I know you want to put your trust in everything and drop your guard completely, but that's just, that's not the reality of life. Another thing is health. Things can take place. People get sick. Husband or the wife can get sick. What happens? You know, if you do like the man says, you know, you, you know, that's cool enough to pay every single bill. Wife don't pay nothing at all. But that means that comes with, do you trust her? Is she making her own money? And if she is making her own money, do you trust her to save it? Or is she engaging in a lot of consumerism, which a lot of women do? Women are the number one customers, the number one targets of consumerism. Thus, they engage in them. 
because it plays upon emotions. Not to say men don't do it, but it's just, it's business. That's what they do. So is she saving her money? Holding it over for a rainy day that's in her savings while you pay every single bill. While you pay everything, while you spoil her and everything. Does she save hers? Or does she throw it all away? So then when something does happen, and health problems are inevitable. Death is inevitable. Will you be ready for that day? Will you be ready for that day? You know, insurance, you know, you, you, know, you got insurance, health insurance, you know, that, they'll take care of things, but that only takes care of so much. You're going to have out-of-pocket expenses, all type of things. And then life after, you know, trying to get stuff together, you know, trying to, you know, if you got kids, having the kids remaining in different programs. This is what you think about. Things like taking out the trash. When I talk about men being stronger than women. That's why men typically take out the trash because, you know, trash is heavy as hell, especially when it builds up. Taking out the trash, you're taking these heavy things, you know, why not have the big man do those things? Just like when we move, you know, women take the little bags. We need some men to move these couches. <laughs> now, it's not to say a woman can't help me. Can't help her and things like that, but you know, you need some manpower in there. Help move the couches and the big old tables and dressers and stuff like that. It's just natural. Nothing is nothing sexist or chauvinist or whatever names I want to come up with. It is just natural. And so trash is usually heavy. Also, Taking it outside, you know, with a woman, she's struggling with it. It poses the risk of, you know, got a lot of crazy people. And men just don't like naturally for the woman to be in a compromising situation. Compromised situation where they can't fend off themselves. And so you don't want to be out there taking the trash and somebody's come up and try to kidnap her or something like that. As a man, you can fight them off. They got a gun, you know, they just, you know, it's going to go wherever way it goes. But, you know, man can fight the men can typically fight, fight off an intruder physically or not intruder, but kidnap or whatever. And nine times out of 10, ain't nobody trying to kidnap no man. Um, Pumping gas, things like pumping gas. Why men usually pump gas? Same reasons. You don't want your woman. I don't. I don't let my wife go to. You know. I, well, I don't let her. I don't advise. I can't make her not do anything. You know, sometimes she does stuff against my will, and she knows I get mad about it. But I don't like for her to be out late at night. And I definitely, she definitely hears my voice. And she hears it hard. <laughs> if she's pumping, if she goes to a gas station, not pumping gas, but going to a gas station just because she's hungry or something, you know, I'll do that. Now, sometimes I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. And sometimes I'm not going to go. Every time that, you know, it's late at night and she feels like she's thirsty and wants something to come from the convenience store, you know, I'm not going to go every single time. But for the most part, I will. But I'm going to have a problem if she does. But, you know, it just goes from there. I mean, it just it basically ends there. All I can have is a problem. And boom, we move on to the next moment. No, tomorrow's a better day. I'm not going to hold it against her. I'm not going to be mad about her. I'm just going to have a problem with it. But it's because you don't want them in a compromised position. Don't it's just for the safety, just as a woman. Also, you like to protect women because 
I don't know. You know, it's they're they're the they're the carriers of life. <laughs> they're the carriers of life. You can kill off a bunch of men, but as long as you can have one man, let just think of it like this. Imagine if a big catastrophic situation happened and a lot of people got wiped out. Which would you rather have? Eight men and one woman? Or you can mix the numbers however you want to do it. But yeah. One woman, eight men. Or you can have eight women, one man. Which one you think is going to repopulate society at a faster rate? You could probably get it done with the, you know, which one of those ways. I'm not going to tell you which one. You just use common sense, which things think which one is the most effective. You use common sense. Uh, but yeah. It's just things like that, you know, and that's just the that's an extreme. That's just the most extreme scenario you could think of. But, you know, it's just good to keep that type of thing in perspective and just keep it in practice because you don't want to you you don't want to leave civilization in um, vulnerable to certain things. You just want to keep, you know, good habits, good habits in line. You know, it's one of your main reasons why a lot of you speak out, speak, you know, a lot of people speak about, and like, I don't have a problem with none of it, but speak out about homosexuality and all this stuff that they're promoting nowadays. Like, I don't have a problem with none of it. It's, you know, live your life. I believe people are born that way. But, you know, a lot of people believe that that's the apocalypse. And they're trying to end civilization and, you know, end man and woman contact. And the more people, you know, more people that think like that and the more people that on that, you know, move into that lifestyle, that'll depopulate everything. Well, you just you moved into a the most extreme scenario possible. I mean, you can think that. And yeah. If it was were to get that extreme, yes, that could depopulate everything. But that's an extremely extreme scenario. That's very extreme. So this is for if you think like that for that, then you should think like that for for uh, typical men and women roles and what. Role they serve. Holding the door open. I typically like to, you know, I hold a w door open for my woman going inside. Make sure she's in and I'm going last. But when I go out the door, I always walk out first. I don't tend to let women walk out the door first. Now, if they do, you know, just sometimes this stuff shit happens. It's like sometimes my woman takes out the trash because she feels like it. It's not going, you know, I tell her no. It's like we get into debates on whether the trash is full. She likes to take it. When it's halfway there, you still got room to put more damn trash in the damn thing. Sometimes, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes she likes to do it her damn self. You know, it's nothing wrong. You know, you'll see people in the comment section, where, well, on the on the post that you see on the screen and talking about, I haven't taken out the trash in 35 years. And man said, my, my woman's never, ever taken out the trash and different things like that. If that's how y'all move. That's how y'all move. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. You know, what if you, uh, but like I said, only question is just what's the motive? What's the practicality behind it? No reasoning. Is there a reason why you do it or is it just something that's traditional? And we get too too often we just get caught up in 
uh, traditional type of things instead of things that are pragmatic. And that's why we end up not being able to move forward and then having a lot of silly conversations and silly conflicts that could be very easily be resolved. But yeah, I go out the door first. You don't want to hold your door open for the woman and she go out the door and she become, you got somebody outside waiting on you. Who's going to take the hit first? <laughs> Who's going to take the brunt of an attack? So the man goes out the door first. You ain't worried about trying to be chivalrous and holding the door open. You know, got to go out the door and make sure the coast is clear. You've already scoped. You, you're inside a restaurant. You already know what's going on inside there. So ain't nobody about to. You know, unless somebody's trying to pull her back in. But in that case, you can go back in if you've got the person cornered, pretty much, for the most part, because they're inside. Just extreme scenarios. We're just talking about the, the practicality of each situation and why we do these things. So these are just, these are questions to have. You know, a lot of the different traditional things that are done are done from old times. You know, it was usually man go to work, woman cook and clean, and they're hold, held to those positions because men were the only ones that could work. I mean, don't forget that. It was a time women couldn't work at all. You know, that's y'all should have learned that in, in grade school. So, of course, she would be at home handling every single chore and different things like that. But it's a new day, and they have that freedom. They have the freedom to do that. And so, you know, there's nothing wrong with, a, you know, if a man decides he wants to cook and different things like that. Or, you know, however you want to do, do what works for you. But stop Stop getting into these uh, stop getting into these traditions and these different, you know, just you just doing things because that's what you were told. That's how it's done. It's just bigger. It's bigger than relationship roles. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than relationship or anything like that. That goes for life in general, because when you start doing that, it takes away the ability for you to question things as a whole you won't question things in life and stunts your growth stunts your in your intellect intellectual growth stunts your ability to see things for what they are because you're still s stuck in repetition and everything that you were taught as a child instead of actually thinking, well, why is this the way it is? Nothing at all. That's, nothing at all. That's, that's what it's all about. So just think about these things. Think about it. And fellas, take out the damn trash if you're in the house. <laughs> take out the damn trash if you're at the house. Please. And women, get it done. That's all I got to tell y'all. If there ain't no man around and you need something that needs to be done, get it done. Don't sit around waiting on nobody. Sitting around acting weak and helpless. Y'all are very, very well able to do things too. Get it done. But uh, that's all I got. Like I said, um, let, me, let me know what you think. Let's build upon these situations. Uh, in the comment section, keep everything respectful. I'll respond to you. Because, hell, I don't know everything. Just trying to figure everything, trying to figure it out in this world. My damn self, just like everybody else. So, until then... I'll holler at y'all 
Till the next one, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.